Good morning, ladies and gents. Today I wanted to talk about something I've been learning a lot more about. It is water methanol injection. Um, so for those of you who don't know, it's basically spraying a 50-50 mixture of water and methanol uh, into your engine. So when I first heard about this, I was super skeptical because pouring water into your engine just sounds awful. That sounds like an awful idea. I mean, if you get water in your gas, that's a horrible thing to happen to your motor. When I first heard about this, I was like, that doesn't seem right. That seems like something that would ultimately end up hurting your engine and, you know, killing the life of your engine. I started to do a lot more research and everything, and this seems to be, I could be totally wrong on this, but it seems to be more um, forced induction cars. So cars that are either turbocharged or supercharged. I don't know if you can do this on a naturally aspirated car. I would assume the principles would be the same. Basically, what water methanol injection does is it sprays a 50-50 mixture of water and methanol, and it has to be pure water. It can't be any sort of chemical other than that. But basically what it does is it lowers your intake temperatures, um, which ultimately gives you higher horsepower. Um, that's, that's the first benefit is the lower intake temperatures. That's something with all forced induction cars, you're gonna be fighting as higher and higher intake temperatures. Um, because as you compress the air rapidly, it's going to spike your temperature. Um, so when you spray this water and this methanol inside your, um, into your intake, it basically cool, rapidly cools it down. One good way to recognize this is when, like let's say you get your hand wet and your hand feels kind of cold. That's because of the evaporation of the water. So methanol does the same thing as the water, except one thing that methanol does that the water doesn't do is that it ends up adding octane. Here in Idaho, the highest octane you can get is 91, unless you want to try to find race fuel somewhere or something like that. If you're running methanol injection, it basically raises it up. Um, I'm not sure by how much, but I know it's quite a bit. So the first two benefits you get from methanol injection is that the water is cooling your intake temperatures and the methanol is basically raising the octane. Um, the third benefit, and this is one that I would love to see like statistics and everything on, but it basically cleans your engine. Um, because, because you're spraying essentially water into your engine, um, it ends up steam cleaning your whole engine. When the water goes in the combustion chamber and everything and explodes, it essentially turns to steam and that ends up cleaning your engine from all, all the carbon buildup and everything like that. I would love to see more information on how effective the methanol injection cleans your car, um, but I do know that it does, it cleans up your valves, it cleans up your um, cylinder walls and everything, so, um, so that's the last benefit that you get from it. I'm sure there's some drawbacks, but honestly, I haven't really found anything. I just, the only thing I've heard is that it's another point of failure, and the point of failure being, you know, the fact that, you know, the pump could fail, I guess. But other than that, I really don't know of anything that's bad about it. I don't think, well, I guess if you're running stock internals and uh, stock bottom end and everything like that, um, you could be pushing too much horsepower at the end of the day, you know, if you start, if you end up supercharging it and doing all this other stuff and run into the meth injection, it could, you know, could just be too much power for your motor. And that's really, between those two, that's the only things that I could see that really are a negative. Um, it's something, you know, eventually on the BRZ, if I supercharge it, I, I think I would wanna run meth injection. Um, and it would be cool to actually put it to the test. Uh, I don't know, like percentage wise, I have no idea how effective it is, but 
I do know it makes a big difference. In, in the research that I was doing, I watched a bunch of videos, and one of them being from Mighty Car Mods. They had a turbo Miata that they ended up um, putting meth injection on, and it was decreasing the air intake temps at like 10 degrees Celsius, which is a huge difference. That That's gigantic. Um, I mean, cause that is, what is that? Like, probably close to like 20 degrees in difference. I really would love to see like a side-by-side -side, um, like dyno pole with some meth injection systems. I'm really curious, I'm intrigued. I've looked up quite a few different uh, systems and they're really not that expensive to install. They're not that complex and I would love to just learn more. After all the research that I've done, I'm really excited about it. I do want to do it eventually. Um, we'll see when that actually comes. It would definitely be after I supercharge it. But yeah, I'm really intrigued and I want to play with it. I want to learn more about it and I actually want to do it to my car. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.